What's up, what's going on legends? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be going over how to unlock the Grau 556 from Modern Warfare for those of you that are free to play in Warzone Pacific. Now, I did cover this weapon before a couple of years ago or almost two years ago now, and it was on the map for Dansk. It's been so much time, there's been so many new players, so I wanted to address it again, especially because it is one of the most difficult challenges to actually complete if you are free to play. Now, before we jump into this video where I will share with you guys some tips and tricks to make it easier, we will even cover the challenge so you know what you are actually working towards. I will also be giving you guys a recommended loadout to make this a little bit easier along the way. And if you guys do enjoy this content at any time or find this video helpful in any way, make sure you share support for the channel by going down below and smashing that like button. Let's go ahead and throw an easy goal of 50 likes on today's video, as well as if you guys like to find your way back to the channel for more Call of Duty content, make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button along with that notification bell so we don't miss you in future videos. All right, so first things first, in order to actually go for the challenge, you're gonna need to know what that challenge is. So if you go to where you edit your loadout, scroll to the assault rifle category, go all the way down until you find the Grotto 556, which is a modern warfare gun, you will see this challenge as follows. Using assault rifles, get five kills in a minute and 25 times. Now you notice this doesn't say 25 different matches, which means you actually could accomplish this more than once. It is going to be a little bit difficult. And it also means that you might actually be able to leave the match once you can confirm the tracking of your challenge. Now, one thing I do want to mention, if you guys are interested in trying to figure out if your challenge is tracking during a match, you simply just go to where you edit your loadout in game, scroll to that weapon, hover over it, see if that has actually gained any progress. If it has, you will then be able to leave the match or choose to continue it and actually go for a second tally. But I will say it is much more challenging in Warzone to do that. So now that you're ready to go and you know your challenge, we need to know what game mode to dive into. I recommend this for all of my weapon challenge videos, just for the simple fact that the skill level of every Everyone going for this is going to be all over the map. Some will be lower skilled, some will be higher skilled, some will be right in the middle. So not everyone is able to complete this in the same amount of time. And I find that if you guys dive into plunder, it gives you the most time to go for your challenges. Limited time modes are great. They're just not always here. They're not always readily available. And not everyone is going to have the time they need in those in order to accomplish their task at hand. So I do recommend when plunder is available, which is almost always, you guys dive into plunder, dive solo. That way you guys can continue to land in the same spot and actually be able to give yourself the longest amount of time to complete it. This would also give you more opportunities to put more than one tally on your challenge as you should be able to do that multiple times per match being that this is not a match specific challenge. The less matches you have to play, the better. The other option obviously is if say it takes you 10, 15 minutes to get your five kills in a minute, you got your progress, you know it's there, you will then be able to leave that match and not waste any more time. Another great thing about plunder is you're gonna have a lot of other people diving in, trying to level up weapons, trying to go for challenges, and overall it's gonna make certain areas of the map more populated. So my recommended area of landing is absolutely going to be the airfield with the secondary option being peak. These are easily the two most popular places, especially during a plunder match, and it'll give you the most opportunities to get the most engagements, which will allow you to overall have a higher chance of completing your challenge, which is what we're here to do. We wanna do this easy, we wanna do this quickly. The Grau is overall one of the best weapons from Modern Warfare. It's still extremely viable, and it's overall a lot of fun to use, so it's definitely something you're gonna to wanna to get your hands on. Now, something I do wanna stress while you guys are jumping in plunder and diving straight into airfield trying to get your kills, do not worry about deaths. As long as you can complete getting the amount of five eliminations within a one minute's time, you will get the count towards your progress. So even if you manage to take out three, maybe even four people, and you come flying in immediately, maybe that takes a couple of extra seconds. As long as it's in that 60 second period, it will still count. You won't need to worry about how many times you die because it's just not relevant to this challenge or towards the progress in general. You could argue that it is gonna waste some time, but as long as you are able to do, like I said, five eliminations in that one minute, it's worth it. Then of course, based on the amount of time you feel like is left in the match, you can either choose to leave or choose to try to go for it yet again. I know another extremely useful thing you guys should definitely keep in mind is to run dead silence. Being that you are running around with tons of other people, you can limit your amount of chances to die just by the amount of people being able to hear you. So if you eliminate an opponent, you pop a dead silence, you run around the corner, you might actually hear somebody immediately coming for the challenge and be able to take them out as well. Getting into those close engagements, following people in from the map, you're just gonna wanna do whatever you can to just get those kills as quick as possible. And if you have to die, get back in there as fast as you can. I'm extremely confident you guys will be able to find the engagements you need to complete this. It'll be up to you guys, however, to actually win those gunfights and make it happen. 
Another thing that helped me was flying in towards the outskirts of the map. It tends to allow you to see where more people are landing. You can kind of see if there's a couple of people together. In most circumstances, there's just a ton of solos in this mode. There's not a lot of groups. So you shouldn't have to, a lot of issues downing people. I do want to mention, however, if you actually manage to down somebody and they're your first elimination, don't take them out right away because if you're able to just let them sit there and stay downed, it may give you an opportunity to down another person or at least eliminate another person before that kill timer actually counts. It's once the first elimination takes place until the last elimination could take place at that one minute time frame is you know occurring so i think we've covered where on the map you want to land we've covered what the challenge is we've even covered some tips and tricks that will generally help you guys make this somewhat easier so let's go ahead and dive into the recommended loadout which is going to be for the kilo 141 as i always say if it's a modern warfare gun you're trying to unlock use a modern warfare weapon if it's another title use that title's weapon it always decreases your issues of having bugs and your tracking not counting which overall extends how long you're going to be doing your challenge. So prevent that. Use the Modern Warfare weapons when going for a Modern Warfare gun. And let's dive into this Kilo 141. So our Kilo loadout is going to be as follows. For the muzzle, we have that monolithic suppressor. For the barrel, the Syngod Arms, 19.8 inch Prowler. For our optic, the VLK 3.0. Our magazine, the 60 round mag. And then last but not least, for our underbarrel, we have the Commando Foregrip. Besides the Grau itself, the Kilo is definitely still one of my favorite weapons from this era, and it is overall an extremely easy weapon to use. Also, using the VLK, you're going to be able to hit people at longer ranges, and again, the whole idea here is you're going to be shooting for 5 eliminations in under a minute, or in a minute's time. This will allow you to be more versatile, take people out in medium range, take people out of the little longer ranges, and still be able to challenge those in close range as well. Overall, we're just looking to get this challenge done as easy as possible, and hopefully these tips and tricks and this loadout will help you guys along the way. If there's something you guys would like to see in a future video or a weapon you guys would like to see me cover again in a future video, let me know down in the comment section below. Otherwise, that's going to wrap things up for today's video. I appreciate you guys for all the support, and I look forward to seeing y'all in the next one. Peace.